Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your June 3rd to the 17th reading, bi-weekly readings. I'm not going to do weeklies anymore, but I'm going to do bi-weeklies, okay? And then monthlies and mid-monthlies, alright? Let me try to keep that up. Let's go ahead and get into this. It's going to be a five card advice spread, general energy, whatever comes up comes out. And then we'll do another spread, okay? All right, five cards of advice for cancer. Take advantage of the $20 special reading. Three questions for $20. Three clear questions for $20. Um, just send me an email and I can uh, get that scheduled for you. It's a video recorded reading, just like the one you're viewing. Uh, okay, first card, you, right where you are. Are you on your correct path? Thank you to those who have liked, shared, and commented. Subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thanks for all continuously coming back. How can progress be made? It's the last card. Okay, two cards want to come out. Bottom of the deck, the four of fire. So all of this is in regards to your foundation or what you deem is foundational. Um, could be a relationship. Could be, you know, what you've built up so far. Could be with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh, are you on, no, you right where you are? The Nine of Water. Wow, okay, nice. Getting some wishes fulfilled. Nice, nice, nice. Manifesting, too. Because you get your wishes fulfilled by putting out to the universe that energy of what you want or who you want or whatever. Are you on your correct path? The Eight of Air says... You might be going around and around about a situation. Um, when are you going to jump off of that, that Ferris wheel and jump into something else different? You feel trapped. You feel stuck on a certain path. Maybe with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. You can't stop thinking about someone, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you don't see a way out of a situation that you're already bound to with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone rising. What is the main obstacle? The two of fire. Yeah, you take an action. You move in from a moving away from a certain path, the path that you're on. This is your obstacle. It's an obstacle because you can't you, you don't see a way out with the eight of air. But you're actually taking action though. This is the obstacle. This is the opposition though. It's not gonna be easy, you know, walking away or, or walking toward you know it's not easy uh what is helping you the star card and aquarius uh, healing also another wish fulfillment card what's helping you is that you're getting what you want or who you want or what situation you want or what job you want or whatever uh wish fulfillment with a nine of water and then the star healing restoration um being balanced here with the star card being on your correct path even though mentally you can't see a way out but it's like you're pushing through some of you just pushing through an Aquarius person could be helping you some moon rising how can progress be made let's see eight of water hierophant um might be walking away from a long-standing relationship. Maybe with a Taurus. If not, it could be with another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It didn't have to be either of those signs, but it could just be walking away from something that was long-standing, traditional. Um, it was the status quo. It was what you thought you were doing. This is a five card, so it's changed. And, and we have the eight of water. You're trying to, you're walking away, you're emotionally checked out here of this marriage or long standing relationship, a job with a big, a large corporation. Um, you're walking away from something because you've gained spiritual clarity about it, also. Uh, you got under some rule and regimen that helped you gain some clarity, whether it was going to a hierophant, a pastor, a priest high priestess, a tarot card reader, psychic, whatever. It's helping you find emotional balance by walking away. Pretty straight 
four is definitely about a relationship or whatever solid stable some particular relationship could be family could be love romantic whatever job related but um yeah some of you uh, definitely actively mentally and you know passionately and getting that motivation to you know emotionally check out because you want your wish fulfillment here all right it's pretty pretty straightforward cancer i hope that you get that for those of you that have been manifesting and hoping and wishing and praying on a star it looks like it's coming to you it's gonna you're gonna help find a way out of a certain situation let's do career and finance for cancer career and finance messages for cancer true accurate messages for cancer career and finance career and finance career and finance messages for cancer Career finance messages for kids. Last one. Bottom of the deck, the King of Wands. King of Wands is an entrepreneur. The mover and the shaker knows a lot. Lots of people can organize. The people is um, has an idea, moves and acts on the idea, makes it happen. This is a this is a, a shot caller. Right. right where you are is the wheel of fortune. So the wheel is turning. It's turning in your favor. Hopefully you've put out good. Good is coming back. Uh, the wheel is always turning for all of us. When we get the wheel, this typically says things are happening in and around us because it's it's that time now this could be good and this could be bad uh the wheel of fortune what is your fortune is it good is it bad you know it's personal um are you on the correct path seven of swords you got the eight of swords and last reading that was general um seven of swords here you need to devise a plan of action it looks like you are maybe in secret uh you just want out maybe from a Gemini Libra Aquarius what is your main obstacle the chariot moving forward getting in control of the light and the dark being in control and staying in control you're your main obstacle you're your worst enemy here Some of you could be your car. Your car is your obstacle for your job. Maybe you need a better car. You need a better vehicle. You need to move. Try to devise a plan of moving. What's helping you? The moon. Okay, so spirit's working in the background for you. You don't see it. You can't see it. This is what governs you too, the moon. Um, There's some things unknown and hidden to you. And it might be working for your good. That's what's helping you. How can progress be made? The king of swords again. I think we had, who was helping you was the Aquarius. Now we got the king of swords. And well, how can progress be made? This is typically Aquarius or Libra. You need to be like the king of swords. And be very decisive. Be very stern. Be fair and just. The King of Swords is right under the Emperor. Uh, the King of Swords is he's strategic too. King of Swords, Seven of Swords. He devises plans and then he acts on. He's ten. He or she is ten, twenty steps ahead of the opposition, the opponent. They mapped it out in every manner. Uh, maybe you need to go and consult with the King of Swords. That would be a lawyer judge uh, someone who makes decisions in regards to whatever could be a boss uh, the king of wands here also at the bottom of the deck high priestess someone's holding secrets but someone needs to make a decision 
the two of, one, of swords you could have fire in your chart cancer or could just be dealing with a fire sign three of swords two of swords three of swords you're making a decision about maybe divorce separation because you're tired of putting in work in a situation that you felt like you didn't get much out of you could have put all this energy all this time effort money into you and it would have yielded you a better uh, outcome you could probably could have been at the nine of pentacles you know awaiting real partnership uh you could be feeling this way because either you seven of cups is a cheating spouse or has a cheating spouse someone that makes promises just to break them creates these big illusions around the circumstances but it is what it is you know cancer pisces scorpio six of wands uh victory someone may be very pompous here you know arrogant we have the king of wands here they create all these illusions and they tell you all these grand schemes and plans that they have for you and for themselves and but it's you know it's just toxic or, or this person gets a lot of attention or they just seek self fulfilling attention they just uh, an attention whore I'm here out It is becoming toxic in the universe. Look at this for a second. Look at this. Clearly. Get the judgment card here. Make a real firm judgment. Go within. Think about what you did in the past in the same situation with the same person. Are you going to do the same thing? If you do, you'll get the same outcome. Change changes things. So you might have to change. Go within to see what you can do. See what, you know, gain clarity by way of self-reflection. Because then maybe you'll get some justice here. Justice and some, uh, some equality. Maybe with a magician. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Aries. Someone will offer something stable. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You're protecting your heart. Mentally stagnant about maybe um, the energy surrounding you. You feel like you don't have all the information to. Six of Swords. You just want to get to a peaceful place. Eight of, eight of Cups. You might be actually physically moving. Moving away from a situation. Moving away out of a home. The Ten of Pentacles out of a home situation. Three of Pentacles because you want a partner. King of Pentacles. Maybe with the King of Pentacles. Capricorn or Virgo. Taurus. You're having rapid communication with this person. And the Two of Cups rest here. The Two of Wands. The Ten of Swords. You know that this will cause the ultimate heartbreak. But you're trying to get to your Empress or Emperor in the time of strength in doing so. Because you can't stop thinking about them. You have really fond memories of them been through a lot in the current situation and you want to offer your cup and the opportunity to have something stable page of pentacles here's you maybe to a Taurus or vice versa a Taurus wants to offer you that uh you're waiting for the perfect time and, and or a Sagittarius want wish fulfillment you're weighing up two very real options here you might have inner conflict within yourself about making this decision, this choice of lovers, choice of job, career, trying to engage in prayer, meditation about what to do because there's love here and you want to offer it. You want to start something stable with maybe uh, someone who you deem is a good husband or vice versa, a good wife, a stable person, a fair person, but you know you have to leave something or someone behind you. Hesitating before making that decision. This person might have been in and out of your life. But you keep looking backwards with that seven of pentacles. You're waiting for them. You're waiting for this to happen for you. You're at the hangman status. Yeah, king of cups. You're doing some. There's opposition here. So it's not like it's just you and this person. It's you, this person, and somebody else, and it's somebody else. 
five of swords, you're doing some heavy battle about this three of parties situation. You want to have a new start. Somebody's defensive with the seven of wands. Someone's discontent. You know, there's discontentment here. Four of cups could be you in regards to this home life. You feel like you can't go any further with this person. You've learned all you can learn. You've done all you can do. It, it, the energy will never change, but you still feel stuck maybe to a Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, typically Gemini. The message will come in that will reignite the passion. Maybe it starts up unstable with the Queen of Wands or someone who comes in, or the other woman, or other man, or someone who's very sexy, charismatic, outgoing, attractive, in whatever fashion you find that. But not before this Aquarius, Gemini, Libra runs after you with trying to get their truth about this whole tower situation of you wanting to walk away from the relationship and be single and put behind partnership and heal and possibly get to an Aquarius that you very well could have been stalking on social media or outrightly stalking. Truth and clarity comes to your wife or to your husband and then there might be an ending because someone felt left out anyway and it's time to lay down the burden. All right, there we go. Um, cancer. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, you know what I mean? Just if you want to be with them, be with them. Don't, you know. Four cards of advice for cancer. Some of you are walking away. Some of you are scared to walk away because you don't know if the other person will have you. You know, some of you know that the situation you're in is stuck, is stagnant. You know that this is a a one year. You know, so what you do this year determines what's going to happen for the next seven years. If you've been miserable for the last seven years in a particular situation, job, career, family life, relationship, or there just wasn't a lot of uh, happy times, then. You've got to make the change or you'll be right where you are. Memories. Yeah. New career for some of you. Volunteer. Healthcare change. Sobriety. Forgiveness. Nice. The bottom of the deck. Religion and spirituality. Rely heavily on your religion and your spirituality. You did have a lot of cups, cards. Some of you need to um, be aware of the lack of sober thinking, the lack of sobriety in your life, or the lack of sobriety around a, a, a certain significant person in your life. You need to ask for forgiveness or grant uh, forgiveness to someone. Healthcare change. Get a second, third opinion. Yes, these are doctors, and yes, they went to school, and yes, they study here and study there, but you know your body better than anyone else. You know what's going on with you because it's going on with you. So don't put all of your eggs in one basket when it comes to your health. Second, third opinion here. Healthcare change. Volunteer. This is a good way of meeting people, getting out into the world and meeting people, like-minded people just like you. Love connection here. Also, if you're looking for that new career for some of you, um, some of you were or are in a stagnant situation, Memories. Memories keep you holding on and keep you coming back. Um, but you know what? Just got to have those memories from afar. You know, have a memory, dismiss it, and keep moving for some of you. Because some of you, you just keep thinking about the good times, but it was a whole bunch of bad times too. So, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you to those who have already done so. Uh, request a personal reading. Take advantage of the $20 special reading. All information is below in the description box. Remember, Cancer, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. I'll see you in your mid-monthlies. Take care.